Welcome for the homework for Grade 2, Module 1. This is Lesson 7. Write your name first. And we're going to practice some more take from 10. It was probably the hardest thing to do in first grade. And it takes, it's going to take some more practice to get good at it. And we really want to practice it enough so that we can do it in our heads without having to write all this stuff down. But we still have to write all this stuff down. Write down the steps so we can show them and practice them, and and uh, and we're also practicing how to explain our thinking, which is really important to know how to do that. So yeah, you know, when somebody says, "Well, how did you do that?" you say, "Oh, I did it in my head." That's not the answer we're looking for. We're looking for, "Oh, I I took from ten, or I took ten out. I took ten out from the seventeen, and then I subtracted from the ten, and then I added." the difference back to the 7. That one sounds a lot better. You can actually say what it was that you did in your head instead of just, I did it in my head, and that's it. I have a number for an answer. All right, so uh, 14. We're taking out 10. So this is the first step in take from 10 is taking 10 out. So we're just practicing that part of it right now. And that's 10 and 8. 13 is 10, 3, right? Just think of the say 10 way. 16 is 10, 6. 19 is 10, 9. And it's a number bond. It doesn't matter which, if you put the 10 on the left or the right. Uh, so now we're, the other thing, the next thing you do after you take the 10 out is you subtract from it. You take from the 10, right? So this is where your, your skills of, uh, and all your practice of parts to 10 really comes in handy because it, if you know your parts to 10, you see the 2 and you think 8, just like that. You're not counting up to three, like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that's 8 more numbers, so it's 8. You should just know it, really. All the partners to 10, you should just know them and practice them. If you don't know them yet, that's okay. Just practice them some more with some flashcards or something, and you'll get good at them. But if you don't practice them, you won't get better. Uh, and really, it's really helpful. You're going to need these. As the numbers get bigger and bigger, you're going to need these strategies. And it's all about taking 10 apart. So here we got, we got 7, and we need 3 is the other part. 6, we need 4. It should be just like that. 5 and 5 is usually the first one that most people really know. And then the next one, I'll go over here, 9 and 1 is usually the, the second easiest. Then we have 8 and 2. And now we're going to use, put it all together and try to solve some problems with this. And we have 14 minus 9. They've started us already with an example, so they split it for us. They took from 10 and had one left, and now we're adding the parts, the parts back together again. The difference and the part that we had here. What's left of the 10 is the 1, and then we're adding the remnant there, that 4, that's 5 together, so the whole thing is 5. Now the way you do it in your head, it looks like this. You look at the 15 minus 8 and you think, well, 2 is that other part of 10, and you add the 2 to the 5, 7. This is the way you show it, which you have to do for your homework. 10 and 5, and then 10 minus 8, taking from the 10, right? It's 2, add the 2 to the 5, and that's 7. 13 minus 7, that's 10 and 3. 10 minus 7 is 3, and we've got a double here. And 12 is 10 and 2. So we're going to have another double. You might see it already. 10 minus 8 equals 2. And this 2 plus that 2 equals 4. That's 4. And now we have some word problems we can work on. We're going to R, D, W these. <coughs> R for read. Now, the thing about reading these problems is that I know some people don't, I know some second graders don't read the problems, 
they just see they just look for two numbers, 14 and 8, and then you just add or subtract them. Whatever you think it is you're supposed to do. You don't read the words. Well, don't do that. That's just guessing. You don't really, you have to read the words to know what you're supposed to do with the numbers. And in this case, and then sometimes it doesn't work because there's only one number. You have to read this to find out that that's a number. So you got to read the words. Robert has 16 cups. Some are red. Nine are blue. How many cups are red? Okay, now we're going to draw a picture. This is a graphic organizer for our information. Helps us figure out what we know, what we don't know, and what we're supposed to do. We know all of the cups. There's 16 of them. We know some are red and some are blue. We know how many are blue. So, some are red some are blue. All of them, we know there's 16. We don't know how many red ones there are, but we know that there are nine blue ones. And so now this looks almost like a number bond, right? We're going to figure out 16 minus 9. 10, 6. 10 minus 9 is 1. And 1 plus 6 equals 7. 7 cups are red. Number 5. We're going to RDW this one. Lucy spent $8 on a game. She started with $14. How much money does Lucy have left? Okay, so she's spending money. That means when you spend money, you don't get to keep the money you spend. So after you spend it, you have you have less money, right? Somebody else has some of your money because you spend it. So she starts with 14. That's the most she's going to have It's 14. So all of her money in the beginning, 14 is going to be the biggest number. And we know some of the money she spent and some of it she has left. There's our labels. Or you could have, you know, spent, you could put G for gain instead of S for spent. It's okay. Uh, but what do we know? We know how much she spent. That's the $8. But we don't know how much she has left. That's the question. So we're looking at 14 minus 8 here. That's 10, 4, 10 minus 8. All right, don't subtract the 4, subtract the 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 plus the 4, 6. So we know Lucy, right here's her name, right up here, twice, so you know how to spell it. Lucy, and we want to know what, how much she has left, right? Has. Six dollars left, and we can put a six right here too. Let's finish that number sentence.